Uh, so yesterday we kicked off exercise Dara Dara and we received a call that a U.S. Embassy was under distress. So we flew in on V-22 Ospreys and inserted here yesterday afternoon and made moving over here to the Embassy. Uh, once we got to the Embassy we immediately started uh, constructing our fixed site security post and uh, set up the post around the perimeter so we'd be able to better protect the embassy from any threats that would be on the outside. Uh, rolling into today, we had an experience with a group of protesters that came out. Turned out to be nonviolent, but we were able to de-escalate the situation and call local law enforcement to get them away from the U.S. Embassy. So the protesters mainly just came up and were shouting, holding signs. Uh, asking for like food and water and they wanted money within this scenario we or they wanted uh, help rebuilding because of a hurricane uh, which really is for us is not our our job to facilitate the money exchange right there to help them out our job here is to protect the US Embassy uh, so we can't do really anything on that behalf that's more on the government personnel but so with what we received about these protesters is that uh, most of them were kind of upset with their social or their own political uh, structure and the lack of help from them. So they see us on their own land and they see our embassy uh, prospering over here. And so that kind of makes them frustrated on both behalfs. We have, you have foreigners on their land and then you have their own government that's not helping them. So towards to them they're kind of like in a, in a weird predicament in the middle which in a sense that puts some of them at a uh, at a risk to go out and do their own thing whether that's a uh, resort to violence or terrorism or whatever it might be in order to get money to help their own people uh, tonight honestly uh, we had uh, we have, we have some intel coming down of a possible scenarios that might play out uh, but mainly just for us on uh, site security, we're just, you know, keeping always on the alert and uh, ready to handle the, whatever threats coming at us, so. As far as, uh, right now, uh, as far as coverage, we have seven positions, uh, five of which are, have, have medium machine guns on them, and then the other two have automatic rifles on them as well, uh, and that's just for their outer cordon of security.